Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft Project uses effort-driven scheduling by default when assigning work resources to tasks or removing work resources from tasks. For example, if you assign one person to a task, Microsoft Project calculates how long that person will take to complete the task based on the person's work availability. If you then assign another person with the same work availability to the same task, Microsoft Project then decreases the total task duration by half. When using effort-driven scheduling, assigning the total task workload equally to two resources with the same work availability reduces the work time by half. You are not required to assign resources to tasks. Some task durations cannot be reduced by assigning additional work resources. However, for most tasks, effort-driven scheduling lets you know when a work resource is supposed to be working and on which tasks they should be working. It can also prevent overscheduling of available resources. For example, effort-driven scheduling can help prevent assigning too many tasks to a single work resource. It also lets you track costs associated with a work resource as it completes a task. To allocate resources to tasks, you must select the task items. You should switch to the Gantt chart view of your project file when assigning resources. You can also see changes to task durations in this view as well. A helpful feature of the Gantt chart view is that you can view resource assignments for selected tasks in a separate task form in the Gantt chart view. To enable the display of the task form in the Gantt chart view, click the View tab in the ribbon. Then check the Details checkbox in the Split View button group when using the Gantt chart view. The resource form then appears in a separate pane at the bottom of the window. Next, use the drop down to the right of the Details checkbox in the Split Form button group to select Task Form. This changes the resource form to display the task form in the split at the bottom of the window instead. When you select a task within the Gantt chart view, assigned resources appear in this area. To create resource assignments using the Assign Resources dialog box, select the task in the project to which you want to assign resources. Then either click the Assign Resources button that appears in the Assignments button group on the Resource tab in the ribbon, or press Alt plus F10 on your keyboard. Select the name of the work resource to assign to the selected task from the list in the Assign Resources dialog box. To select more than one resource, click the first resource to select it. Then hold down the Control key on your keyboard and click any other resources you want to select. Finally, release the Control key. After selecting the desired work resource or work resources, Click the Assign button to assign the selected work resources to the selected task. After clicking the Assign button, the units and cost for the task assignment of the selected resources appears in the Assign Resources dialog box. You may see an R&D column if using Microsoft Project Professional. This column is related to setting a priority for resource assignments if using Microsoft Project Server with the Resource Substitution column. To remove work resource assignments by using this dialog box, select the resource to remove and then click the Remove button. This also impacts the units and cost shown. You can also substitute one work resource for another by selecting the assigned work resource to replace in the list and then clicking the Replace button to open the Replace Resource list. Select the name of the substitution work resource from this list and then click the OK button to substitute the resource. Note that work resource substitution may change the units and cost shown, but it also may not. After making your work resource assignments, click the Close button. You should be able to see the resource assignment information for the selected task in the task form at the bottom of the window after work is assigned. Alternatively, you can also assign work resources to selected tasks by using the task form split view in the Gantt chart view. For example, to add a second work resource to a selected task, first select the task within the Gantt chart view. Any resource assignments appear in the task form at the bottom of the split shown in the window. To add another work resource, click into the next available blank row in the resource name column in the task form. 
Then use the drop-down arrow that appears to select the name of the second work resource to assign to the task. The Effort Driven checkbox in this pane should be checked and the Fixed Units option should be selected under the Task Type drop-down within this pane. If these settings are in place when you click the OK button in the task form to save your changes, then Microsoft Project uses effort-driven scheduling for this task to recalculate the task duration while holding the actual units of work performed as the fixed value. This causes Microsoft Project to decrease the task duration based on the extra work the second resource can perform. However, if you didn't want the addition of a second work resource to decrease the task duration, you could instead choose the Fixed Duration choice from the Task Type drop-down in the Task Form instead. Then click the OK button to let Project keep the duration of the task fixed and simply decrease the work hours attributed to the task for each work resource assigned. This changes the units of work for each work resource on the task. Alternatively, you can keep the work value for the task fixed by selecting the Fixed Work choice from the Task drop-down when assigning work resources in the task form. This can often result in a durational decrease, too. Also, if you don't want to use effort-driven scheduling for a selected task, simply uncheck that checkbox when making work resource assignments for a task. After adding or removing work resources, you should click the OK button in the task form to save the changes to the selected task. You can also click the Previous and Next buttons in the task form to move to either the Previous or Next task in the project file. This is simply another way to move through the tasks shown in the Gantt chart view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.